running, Maggie. Maggie, where's my coffee? Maggie? Maggie? Oh my God. Margaret Sandomir. As far as we can tell, she was raped and shot. John Doe was by the trash, stabbed several times in the back, chest, and genitals. He's on his way to Mercy. Who called it in? Alvin Maddox. Works construction. Mr. Maddox? I'm Detective Benson. How are you holding up? I never did see a dead body in my life. I mean, not before an undertaker got to him, you know? I try to make this as quick and painless as possible. I just need you to tell me what you saw. I really didn't notice anything wrong until I got to the coffee pot. There was none. And I saw all the blood and Maggie behind the counter. Who would do that? Everybody loved her. Did you know the other victim who was found outside? I didn't even see the poor bastard at first. Almost lost my breakfast. Mr. Maddox, I'm gonna need your shoes. Oh, my God. I didn't. I wasn't. I just need to eliminate your footprints, so I'll write you a receipt and we'll return them to you when we're done. You kidding? Toss them or burn them. I'll never wear them again. Okay, sit tight. I'll have someone take you home. Body's been tampered with. Shot in the back, but laying face up, and the shoes are on the wrong feet. The, uh... The ME said he found no trace of fluid, so it looks like our guy wore a condom. So far, too much blood, not enough forensics. Just what I like, mm. smart predator. Okay, so we got two victims. One shot, one stab. One inside, the other out on the street, but from the looks of it, it all started in here. If you had a gun, why the knife? Something went wrong. Maybe we're looking for two perps? He's getting a PhD. Psychology at Columbia during the day. We thought since the market was just two blocks away that she'd be safe. It's our neighborhood. Everybody knows her. Did she have any enemies? Was there ever any trouble? She, she did have some difficulty with one of the patients at the clinic, but she, she assured me that was taken care of. What patient was this? Maggie interned at a mental health clinic twice a week. This man fantasized that he and Maggie had a relationship. He stalked her. What's his name? Oh, God, I don't remember. There was a police report. Maggie assured me that he wasn't dangerous. Do you have the name of the clinic? HMH Clinic. Homeless Mental Health. Hi. Hi, can I help you? You can I see Dr. Klein. She's in a session. Take about five minutes. She'll be done in 30, so have a seat. Great. Thank you. Guy stalking our victim is Ben Moreland. She took out a restraining order. So much for him not being dangerous. <sighs> you want to go and come back later? Was <sighs> that much to you? Pulled the 61 on Moreland. He was stalking our victim for almost a month. He came agitated when approached by uniforms. He had box cutters taped to his hand. One cop almost got cut. When was this? Two weeks ago. He had Rikers? Claimed insanity. Said the unis had laser beams for eyes, were trying to fry him. The judge ordered him to take his meds and sent him home. Address is West 54th Street. For the odds, he's still not taking his pills. Hello? Ben Moreland? What's this about? Maggie Sandemir. I'm not, I'm not allowed within 500 feet. Where were you last night? Right here, why? Anyone with you? 
Just me and the four walls closing in. She say I was bothering her again? Because I swear I wasn't. Miss Sandemir is dead. The lab came back on our footprints. Only three sets. Our victim outside and our witness Maddox. Looks like we're looking for only one perp. Nothing on Mark Nash. No complaints. No violence. Nothing zip. First time for everything. So you think the guy goes from zero to rape and murder because he's schizophrenic? Ah, uh, if he's not in his right mind, hell yes. And who is the arbiter of mental health? Are you sane? And how do you know if you're not, unless somebody tells you? And how do they know they're not? What about Moreland? He look good to you? Nothing so far. He's got no alibi, but I don't see him going out in that condition. He stalked her. If anybody's seen him lately, we'll find out. He hard to miss him with all the facial twitches, tremors, and drool. Probably extra pyramidal. I got uh, Maggie Sandemir's thesis from Dr. Klein. That sounds like the side effects you get from long-term usage of antipsychotics. You get uh, involuntary muscle spasms, among other things. That's why a lot of them refuse the medication. Right, but we can't possibly know which ones are dangerous, when they're going to snap. That's why taking their meds shouldn't be an option. You would suppress an individual's right to refuse medical treatment? For the public safety? Absolutely. Our John Doe is out of surgery and awake, so let's get a statement, all right? Keep me posted. How's he doing? He still got all his parts? Can't this wait? And if he croaks in the next five minutes? He just came out of major surgery. And we're trying to find out who put him there. Don't worry, this will be short and sweet. Sir? Yeah. What's your name? Miller. Earl Miller. Can we call anybody for you? No. Did you get a good look at who did this to you? Slate, white, 20s, 30s, brown hair. Crazy. I saw him attack that woman. Crazy? What, he say something? Russian something. You spoke with an accent? Mm. Please. Mr. Nash? Mark Nash? Rakalnikov. It was I. Killed the old pawnbroker woman and her sister with an axe. Mr. Nash, I'm gonna need to see your hands. 317 rubles. I need to see your hands. 60 kopecks. Mr. Nash, why don't you stand up slowly? Show me your hands. Put your hands behind your head. Oh. Down. Mr. Nash, you're under arrest. I do not repent. That's great. an episode. You got all lost in your head, right? Did you say something or do something that set you off? Is that why you hit her? No, 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 no. Well, Mark, I tell you, you hit her so hard she came out of her shoes. And you felt bad, so you tried to put him back on her feet, but you got him on the wrong feet. Is that right? Razumuhin, you think I'm mad? Have a drink. You'll feel better. You've had enough for all of us. I can still smell the beer on you. You're not drunk, are you? Is Maggie dead? You know she is, because you killed her. And then he stabbed a witness. You know, he might not make it. I hope he's dead! So you did stab him? Yes! Mark, Mark. Shh, let's calm down. Mark, calm down, OK? You just want to help, so why don't you sit down and we'll talk? <laughs> Well, we won't be getting anything out of him for now. Uh, not while he's delusional. Defense is gonna ask for a 7.30. State examiner will keep him until he's fit for trial. Then maybe we'll get his story instead of Dostoevsky's crime and punishment. Oh.